Since the beginning of Jujutsu Kaisen manga until now, the main technique of the King of Curses has remained unknown, and has been the focus of most fans of the series because he is the main antagonist in the manga, and everyone wants to see his power or his technique in its full force. However, due to Sukuna being extremely powerful, he has not revealed all his cards even as the story reaches its end and he kills the strongest character in it. So far, we have only seen hints of it, some of which appeared in Shibuya during his confrontation with Jogo, where he used Open or the Black Box, and the appearance of the Fire Arrow that completely burned the Cursed Spirit. Another hint was during Jogo's display of Sukuna's fingers, showing how each finger differs from the others. Then there is almost nothing clear at all, even as the end approaches. But currently, Sukuna may change his mind after his encounter with Yuji, and his confrontation with Maki before that. Perhaps he will reveal the secret that most fans of the series have been waiting for, which is the origin of his cursed technique and its effects. Before we see that in the upcoming chapters, we will discuss several theories regarding his cursed technique, and the first one will be the Shrine. The shrine is the place for offering sacrifices to the King of Curses. Sukuna kills these sacrifices using Cleave and Dismantle, which represent the execution tool. After the death of the sacrifices, Sukuna eats them, which grants him their abilities or curse techniques. Sukuna stated that he used the fire technique a lot in the Heian era, which may mean that he ate a user of this technique at that time and obtained it previously, not during his confrontation with Jogo in the Shibuya arc. What strengthens this theory is Yuji Itadori, the protagonist of the manga who ate his cursed womb siblings and obtained their blood manipulation technique. We did not get an explanation of how Yuji obtained it because there is no connection between eating the siblings and obtaining the cursed technique. But with the explanation of the shrine, this explains everything. Yuji inherited Sukuna's cursed technique after being a vessel for the King of Curses. According to Goju, the King of Curses technique was engraved inside Yuji, and by eating his siblings as sacrifices, he obtained their cursed techniques thanks to inheriting Sukuna's CT. There is a lot of support and hints for this theory. For example, Sukuna's continuous desire for eating, as soon as he manifested inside Yuji, he wanted to eat women and children in this new world where he appeared. It is believed that during the hiatus period before the confrontation with Gojo, the King of Curses ate many humans with the presence of Urami there to cook food for him. Also, Sukuna ate his own body or his mummy to compensate for the missing finger. The theory seems very close with the manga showing the theme of eating to gain power. But it has a lot of downsides and the main one is Sukuna's domain which only uses cleave and dismantle. Also Yuta copied only cleave and not shrine back in chapter 250. The second theory for the King of Curses technique is the natural elements, and the hint for it was Sukuna's fingers in the hands of Jogo and Shibuya, where each finger had a unique end representing one of the natural elements. If we connect this theory with what Sukuna has used so far, this means that slashing is the manipulation of wind, where Sukuna makes the wind extremely fast to the point that it becomes a cutter for enemies. Also, Sukuna appeared to use the Kamutoke with the lightning ability, although he used this element only because of the cursed tool, nothing more. As for the fire arrow that the King of Curses used against the Maharaga and Jogo and Shibuya, it is a manipulation of the fire element in the form of an arrow. This means that Sukuna possesses more elements to use, but only the wind, fire, and lightning elements have appeared, not all the elements. Let's not forget that Sukuna also carried the cursed tool Hiten in the Heian era, a tool that gave him control over the wind. What undermines this theory is Sukuna's lack of use of any element within his domain other than wind or cleave and dismantle. Also, the manipulation of cursed energy cannot be considered a cursed technique. The second theory is the god's shrine. Sukuna's domain or the shrine means a place of worship for some gods in Buddhism. And in this place, there is a room where sacrifices are offered to the king. If we connect this with Sukuna, as we said, he was like a king to humans at the height of his power in the Heian era. So perhaps sacrifices or humans were offered to the King of Curses, who would consume them and obtain their cursed techniques. There are many hints of human consumption, the first being the presence of a large mouth in Sukuna's shrine, and also Urami, who was known for cooking food for the King of Curses. To further connect things, Sukuna uses Open or the Black Box to extract treasures or cursed techniques from the treasure room and uses them against his enemies. Sukuna may have eaten a powerful figure and obtained the arrow from them previously. As an example, he is known to have killed many clans in the Heian era, an era known for the strength of shamans and curses. Once again, what undermines this theory is the lack of use of anything from the treasure except the fire era. However, we must not forget that Sukuna did not use the arrow against Gojo because he wanted to adapt to infinity, and no worthy opponent appeared to show the rest of the treasures against him. The following theory is about Buddhist kings again, because the anime is heavily influenced by Buddhism. There is a god very similar to Sukuna and his name is Enma. This god has weapons similar to those Sukuna had in the Heian era, 
and the name Enma means twin in Hinduism, which is a hint or connection to Sukuna's form in the Heian era. He represents a ruler of one of the types of hell in Buddhism, and Sukuna's domain represents Naraka, which represents hell ruled by Enma and consists of more than one area. In one of these areas, humans die by dismemberment, while in another area, humans die by burning with fire. And in another area, humans die or are punished by being eaten by creatures living in that part of hell. This means that Sukuna's technique as a whole, according to this theory, has appeared. And there is nothing hidden about it. Slashing, burning with fire, and eating represent Sukuna's technique 100%. The next theory explains that Sukuna's cursed technique is weapon creation and its use is needed. The black box is when the King of Curses enters the weapon storage and uses one of them. Previously, he owned Hiten a spear to control the wind, and at the same time, he owned Kamutoke for manipulating lightning and used its second version against Kashimo in his maximum form. In Shibuya, he used a weapon or bow to shoot a fire arrow against Jogo, and later used it again against the Maharaga. The reason we did not see the bow is that Sukuna used it indirectly, as he did with the Ten Shadows during his fight against Gojo Satoru. The last theory we will mention is the Twin Theory, and this theory we have seen an actual application of it in the anime with the case of Mai and Maki Zenin. It states that Sukuna and Yuji are twin siblings with one soul, which gives this soul a heavenly restriction. During a certain period, part of this twin was eaten, and what remained of the twin was Sukuna only, who became very strong after his body was modified and retained the original body's heavenly restriction. The heavenly restriction was of the type that deforms the user's body, like Muta, in exchange for giving him immense cursed energy. This made Sukuna one of the strongest characters in the manga, and with the death of the twin, the negative effect of the restriction disappeared, and Sukuna obtained cursed techniques and later modified his deformed body through binding vows. 